Okay, so what's up, gentlemen and ladies? Welcome to another episode of Project Gentlemen. We're here. We love to talk about the things that help us win in life. And today, I'm so excited, guys, to talk about this topic, um, Toyota Race versus Honda Brio. These two are actually uh, out there on that category of the price point wherein uh, hindi sila masyadong ganyan ka accessible or affordable, but you pay a little bit more for something that you won't get as well on those uh, lower end of the spectrum. So this, what I'm saying is you get you really are going to get something more out of these two for each of their uh, reasons, okay? So Brio has a strength of its own. Re, uh, Toyota Race is also capable of a lot of things. And today, that's what we're going to be talking about. And um, by the end of the video, you will realize which one really is uh, the one for you, which one will work for you, which one you will need, and you will enjoy. All right? So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. So this, uh, this content is actually uh, brought to you by both of these people. Thank you so much for your questions, guys. Um, this one was asked by... The King, the King, para ba masanto? The King Gag, Acer, para sorry, ah, the King Gag Acer, four seven seven one. Ah, sabi niya, Brio talaga for me, engine performance, interior, exterior, superior talaga versus the Wigo. Okay, but how about if we compare the Brio RS against the Race E or G CVT, and then? Sabi ni Anthony Foronda, uh, raise and Brio Comparo, please. So, dahil malakas kayo sa akin, this is the video that uh, you're looking for, alright? So, let's do this. Now, let me uh, just show your uh, comments as well from the previous videos that we did uh, from both of these cars. So, sabi ni uh, Joe, uh, Honda lang sa kalam. So, these are comments again that we got from... Uh, whatever side that you chose from the previous comparisons. So this one is uh, for the Brio, all right? Sabi niya ni Aaron, Aaron Paul, uh, Brio, iba pa din yung angas at yung resale value ni Brio. Wow, that's really good. Uh, actually, yeah, I would agree, iba din yung angas talaga ng Honda, di ba? Yeah, uh, being um, Honda boy ever since, ayan nga, I mentioned to you doon sa Brio review natin, di ba? Uh, I love actually ba yung angas din ni Honda but yeah chose a Toyota instead so uh, let's go with the uh, raise comments that you gave before uh, sabi nyo from uh, to user I go for raise mas malaki daw sanya uh, this was the video about uh, raise versus Wigo yata to na comment sabi din ni John Mark Ruel Corpus uh, mas maganda raise kasi may power mode na Basta ECVT para mas uh, fuel efficient din, sabi niya. Okay, so these are the things that we will consider today. Um, I agree, may, uh, may modes kasi yung CVT ni ano, eh, Raze. Pagka uh, ano, uh, CVT E or G, pagka uh, may CVT yan, then you will have the different kind of modes. So let's find out which one would uh, work for you today. Let's start with the looks. Yan. Pag masdan yung mabute, uh, which of these two do you think uh, you will enjoy the most? Pag nakita nyo yan, nakaparada, you parked it in your house, in the malls, para sa inyo, san ba dyan yung form factor or yung itsura na magiging proud kayo? Let me know in the comment section. Um, I'm a big fan of Toyota Rays. Actually, I love the you know, yung design niya, futuristic talaga. Um, but if I'm gonna give my own opinion, I think I'd be more proud having the Honda Brio. Um, that's just for me. Again, iba rin yung angas talaga ng Honda. And, um, I don't know, uh, basta, I, I can't really explain why, but uh, I think I'll be really proud with the Brio. And then, set up ko yan. Uh, gagawan ko po yan ng ano, ng... Uh, Papalit ko ng mufflers, something like that. So, yeah, uh, how about you guys? Let me know. Pagkapormahan, Brio. But for the race, actually, uh, I will also give you a reason why I will choose the race as well later on. 
but basically this crossover form factor is really nice as well i wouldn't say no to this given the chance so what are the differences between sa dalawang to let's go uh, the variant that we'll be talking about is the honda brio rs uh black top uh, again pasensya na yung uh, typo dyan. but that's actually a uh, black top and then toyota race is the e variant po, which is on the lower variant but you get so many out of this variant guys i promise so again honda brio rs black top and then transmission type cvt and then with both of them cvt po yan so napaka comfortable and then for the price ayan medyo uh, magkalapit pero malaking ano uh, malaking kaibahan on these two on what you're gonna enjoy so just add around 20k then you'll get uh, actually mas mura si Reyes and then medyo mas mahal may kamahalan po itong si Brio so Having that said, yan pa lang ha, may ano na kagad. But again, may reasons din naman si Honda why they are pricing it that way. But si Toyota, um, I know that it offers a lot as well. So body type, hatchback, crossover naman si Toyota Race, uh, hatchback si Honda Brio. So which one do you prefer guys? Hatchbacks ba or crossovers? Kasi... Meron ding uh, strength itong si hatchback eh. Kasi yan, maliit, di ba? Kasyang-kasya sa mga uh, gitgitan. Madaling, you know, madaling ilusot. Habang uh, si crossover type naman, si Reyes, yan, lamang na lamang siya, of course, uh, with the uh, flood prone areas. This is really a good car to choose. Mga malulubak, crossovers are really nice. So, which one do you prefer, guys? Which one do you need? Let me know. Sa engine guys, both of them, the same 1.2 liter engine. Ang lamang lang eh, si Brio comes with four cylinders. Three cylinders lang kay uh, Race. So obviously, mas malakas ng konti si uh, Brio. But of course, um, mas may, maliit pa nga yung kanyang form factor, ba? So I really think that you would need uh, that power. Um Yung parang yung arangkada niya siguro, I think uh, I would uh, like the Brio since they come with the same 1.2 liter engine. But still, again, with what you need, yun pala naman, I think uh, you'll really consider what kind of environment or, you know, what are you gonna use the car for. So if mga akyatan yung gusto mo, then at least now you have an idea, diba? So, Yeah. Headlights or uh, headlights and tsaka yung kanyang fog lamps. LED headlights po si uh, Brio, ang ganda. And yung kanyang fog lamps din po is naka-LED, which is, I, roll, uh, I really uh, totally dig. Uh, I really like it. Social na social. And then si Reyes is uh, halogen headlights. And uh, well, I mean, meron din siyang fog lamps, but both of them are halogen. All right? So if that's a big deal for you, then uh, at least you know that. Pagdating po sa kanyang wheels, obviously, uh, mas malaki yung kay Reyes. 16-inch alloy wheels. Well, si Brio is 14-inch, two-tone alloy wheels. Ang ganda po niyan. Tignan. And uh, may, mag, may pagkawig nga po a little bit kay Vios. Eh. But, um, yeah, you def definitely you need to uh, consider as well the wheels because it will affect later on the ground clearance. Which is, ito nga, si uh, Brio just comes with 137. Mas Malaki ng, I mean, mas mataas ng konti kay Toyota Vios. Like we mentioned in our previous video, 133 yung kay Vios. Ito kay Brio, 137. So, medyo uh, naka-lowered talaga tignan itong si Brio. Hindi lang tignan, but really naka-lowered talaga siya. So, uh, dito ako nag, ano, dito tayo magkakatalo. For me, uh, raise wins on this one because I really like something na mataas yung ground clearance. Ito, 200 millimeters you'll really be safe with the humps and the mga lubak so hindi ka masyadong mamamablama but with the body roll guys yung parang nagda-drive na kayo of course mas masarap talaga sa feeling itong medyo mas lowered gaya ni Vios Brio is also I guess mas comfortable pag mga curve 
And then with Reyes, I believe that medyo ma-feel mo talaga yung uh, body roll. But uh, if you're someone na uh, city lang naman and you have, um, you live in a place na masyadong madam, yan, malubak, then like what I told you before, yung place namin dati, sobrang malubak talaga. And Vios was not fit for that kind of place. So Reyes is a really good choice for you on that one. Yan, a closer look. Let me just uh, give you a closer look. Yan yung itsura ng gulong ni Brio. Zoom in natin konti. Yan. Right? Maganda. For raise, yan po yung itsura niya. Hindi po two-tone. Still, uh, gets the job done. Okay? What do you think, guys? Right? So, side mirrors. Uh, power adjustable. No power folding. Para sa kanilang pareho. Both of them, uh, sorry, both of these uh, cars don't have um, power folding features. So if you want the power folding, then the auto fold feature is on the higher variance po ni Toyota Rays. Ito, uh, top of the line na, but walang, ano, walang auto fold. Then that's what I really uh, don't like about Honda. Why uh, they don't uh, put uh, features, extra features on their top of the line cars so um yeah infotainment system seven inch kay brio eight inch mas malaking konti yung kanyang touchscreen display both of them have four speakers and then still you get the same things with the infotainment system especially apple carplay and android auto which really is you know really nice modern and for the parang younger market uh, napaka ano yan uh, good Good feature to have. Ayan. Uh, you have the... This one is for the Toyota Rays. The much larger. And then this one is for the Honda Brio. Ganda rin nung interior ni Brio, guys. May mga red accents. So, But you have the the touchscreen display here. Sa may gitna. Lower, middle. And then you have the aircon display. I mean, the aircon controls both of them. Similar. Digital po with manual controls uh give you a picture ayan tignan niyo po yan that's the that's how it looks for the Toyota Rays ah sorry this one is for the Honda Brio pala digital uh, display manual controls and then this one is for the uh Toyota Rays nakaano na po yan digital digital display right Push start system for the both of these cars. Ayan nga, wala po yung E. But mind you, this is the lower variant. If you choose the higher, then you have the push start. But this one, uh, nasa higher end na po ito, but still walang push start system. I don't know why. What, uh, why Honda did not give it that. But keyless entry, bumawi naman, both of them, of course. Uh, dapat lang siguro. At this uh, price point, you have the keyless entry system. Reverse camera, both of them don't have it. And then, balik tayo. Uh, rear parking sensors, guys, meron naman silang pareho, which is really nice. And para sa akin, importante yan, rear parking sensors, at least meron po sila pareho nun. So that's really good. All right. Hill start assist. Si Raze lang po meron. Unfortunately, si Brio wala, but yeah, I think you're going to have to live with that. Speed sensing door locks. Lastly, wala po si Honda Brio. Toyota Raze E, lower variant po yan, pero merong speed sensing door locks. So, uh, just discuss lang natin. Color options nyo. Ito, dalawa lang po kay Raze E. Silver tsaka gray. And then for the Brio, orange. You have the yellow green. And then itong parang uh, kakaibang gray. And then lastly ito. Uh, stellar diamond yata yung the, what they call this one. Eh. So, or parang white. So which color do you like guys? If you're gonna choose any of these cars, let me know. So having that said guys, overall, um, I we can really tell that Brio is priced a little bit more. But you get a little bit more features pagdating kay Reyes. So... It's just gonna be about uh, do you want parang racing-racing na look or feel 
which comes with a brio, yung arangkada, brio din yun. But do you need something that is uh, parang sa mga flood-prone areas or malulubak? Then race, guys, is really a great crossover uh, vehicle, actually. And then mas less pa yung kanyang price. So having those said, guys, which one would you do you think would help you best? Let me know in the comment section. So sana po nakatulong tong video na to. And um, I'm so excited to see you on the next one. If this one helped you, uh, grab a merch today. Adami pong uh, nangyayari ngayon sa mga kasada. So manatili po tayong kalmado. Uh, this has been Ronnie with Project Gentleman reminding you that uh, if we seek God first, all of these things that we need will be added unto us. Thank you for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Ciao!